Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day four of how to write a song in five days. Skipped yesterday because it was Sunday and was super busy all day, um, but it was a really, really good day. Uh, but we're back today on Monday, um, and we are getting close to finishing up this song. I'm going to sing for you what we have so far, as far as we talked about the uh, the hook and the theme and the structure in the previous three days. Today we're going to actually sing the song and talk a little bit about sharing. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and give you what I have so far from this song. And you'll see all, all of those elements in here. The hook, the theme, the structure, all of those things carefully planned out ahead of time um, and enacted in this song. So I've been giving you little bits and pieces as we go along. So we're going to bring it all together right here and, and I'll let you guys hear what we have um, thus far. So here's how the song goes. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a big deal, you know, so... <clears throat> Well, I used to think that God was playing cosmic cops and robbers. And I was in the game of life just waiting to go under. And that rich old Uncle Pennybags, he had a monopoly. But Jesus gave me bulwark, and now that dude don't land on me. And now I'm running and jumping all the way through life, and I've almost made it to the finish line. I got an extra life so I can never die. And now I got those bad guys on the run set people free hey what a rush if you think that's great just wait till it's all done if life's a game whoa i'm leveling up boom 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 well the ghosts that used to haunt me in the past have all turned blue they just run away in fear as i go around collecting fruit and since the day this level started there's no barrel i can't throw now i'm knocking turtles left and right just like my Mario, well, now I'm running and jumping all the way through life, and I've almost made it to the finish line. I got an extra life so I can never die. And now I got those bad guys on the run setting people free. Hey, what a rush. If you think that's great, just wait till it's all done. If life's a game, whoa, I'm leveling up. Okay, so that's it. That's the song that we have come up with so far on day four of How to Write a Song in Five Days. So not too bad. It's obviously not complete. There's a couple of things in there that I want to change, a couple of things that I want to to hone up, fix a little bit, uh, but we'll talk more about that tomorrow. But this stage is day four. By this time, um, on the fourth day, I usually have the majority of my song put together. And so I will have quite a few lines. I'll have the the concepts that support my theme in place, and then I might have a couple of holes. And so what I would encourage you to do if you're writing a song is what I end up doing a lot of times. I will fill those holes with weak lines that rhyme and have the right cadence to them, the right rhythm, so that I can go ahead and sing the song all the way through and get a feel for what it sounds like, even though those particular lines are weak. And I have a couple of them in this song right now. Um, they're passable, but they're a little weaker than what I want. I can, I can strengthen those lines up. I would encourage you just go ahead and add those in and get your song to the point to where you can just sing it through uh, and have the right rhythm, the right tune, those kinds of things so you can get a feel for where it's going. And then eventually you can add stuff back into it and make it a little bit stronger and tighten it up. And we'll talk a lot about that tomorrow. But when you get to this point, one thing I always like to do, especially if I have a song that I really like, a song that I think is really good, I want to make sure it's not just my opinion. I want to get some feedback from some people that I trust. Normally, uh, you know, a lot of people will tell you don't go to family and friends. I go to my family and friends first, and then if they like it, then I branch out to people that aren't my family and friends to get a little bit more diverse criticism. Um, but what I will do is I'll record basically what I just sang for you. I'll record that and send it to them in a text message and let them, you know, go over it, tell me if they like the concept, and explain it's not completely done, but they'll understand that. And just, do you like the concept? Do you like the tune? Do you like where it's going? Um, all of those things. Do you have anything that would help it be uh, make it, you know, more of an improvement? For this particular song, the subject matter... Um, with all the games and things like that, I'm basically maxed at my knowledge base with that because I'm not what you would call a gamer uh, and I've never been a gamer. And so I've approached a couple different people and said, hey, 
You guys play games all the time. You're much more familiar, especially with the older style of games and uh, and some modern ones too. If you have any references that I should use in the song, um, something, you know, because I want to pack as many as I can in there and kind of have some hidden gems and things like that in the words, um, something that's either ironic or relatable or... Um, you know, not as easy to spot in the song, but wouldn't detract from it at all. If you have any ideas for things like that, shoot them my way so I can try to incorporate them. And so that kind of feedback is really what I'm looking for when I get to this stage of the song. Um, so if you have a song idea and you get to this point to where you're ready almost to uh, to finish it up and, and get it to the place to where you can sing it all the way through, just go ahead and plug in some weak lines, get it all the way down and out and on something recorded on some paper, send it out to your close family and friends and let them hear it, get some good constructive criticism and some feedback from them, uh, make sure that they're not just you know telling you what you want to hear but that you're actually getting good feedback and then uh, use it to your advantage. And then when we get to day five, um, which day five is not going to be just day five, it's going to be the last phase. And so uh, when we get to that, we'll talk a lot about how to hone your song, um, how to, uh, you know, get it ready for the final version. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed how to write a song in five days, day four. And I will be back tomorrow to finish this up, wrap things up, and we'll see where we're at with that song. So thanks for joining us.